the All-American Bowl out in San Antonio, which was played on Saturday. You guys know how the game goes. It split east-west. West won the game 31-28. A ton of talent out there all week. And Charles Power, on three's director of scouting and rankings. He was out in San Antonio, and he has a top performer list. But before we cover that, let's talk about some of these big announcements. They took place during the second half of the All-American game. Two big commitments that we've been waiting for. We've been covering it for the past few weeks. Who am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about number 48 overall cornerback Zay Mincy. The question was, could Florida teams keep him in? Florida, Florida State, Miami, all involved. Florida, Miami, maybe a little bit out in front of uh, Florida State. But in the end, Alabama starts trending. It started happening about last week around this time. Some picks started going in, and the word was, Zay Mincy was leaving the state of Florida, and on Saturday, he committed to Bama. Great get for them. Rangy, versatile corner heading to Tuscaloosa. Now, the other big commitment we were watching was number 188 overall, running back Daniel Hill. And guess what? He chose Alabama over South Carolina and Mississippi State. He goes six foot, 235 pounds, big back from Meridian, Mississippi. Going to be really interested to watch him develop in Tuscaloosa as well. So Daniel Hill and Zay Mincy both commit to the Crimson Tide. But, of course, that wasn't the biggest news of the day. The biggest news, though, was overshadowed by number one QB and the number one overall player in the 2025 class, Bryce Underwood, committing to LSU. Now, that wasn't at the game, so let's get back to the game. Now, Charles Power put together a top performer list. You see it right here. Overall MVP, TJ Moore, he's heading to Clemson, uh, dominant wide receiver, really put on a show all week during practice, capped off with a sensational showing in Saturday's game. Very productive at six foot two, 195 pounds, elite ball skills, natural hands, great route runner, going to be a versatile weapon in that Clemson offense. And then, of course, at number two, Jeremiah Smith entered the week as the top ranked player that's not going to change he lived up to the hype six foot three 210 pounds looks like he was built in a lab and he didn't have a whole lot to prove but when he got out to san antonio he was taking a ton of reps and worked hard all week that's what you like to see out of the number one overall player in america number three on the list offensive lineman cooper cousins he was dominant all week. He's heading to Penn State, physically dominated during the one-on-one, -on -one, showed great burst and power off the line. He's a great pickup for James Franklin in that staff up in Pennsylvania. Number four, safety Coy Parrish. Now, there is a lot of buzz around his name over the last couple weeks because he's committed and ended up signing with Minnesota. But Ohio State got him on a late visit. Florida State got him on the visit right before the dead period, but... He ends up signing with Minnesota, a great get. Now, he had a diving pick on the goal line, a bunch of pass, pass breakups, showed he's a playmaker in the secondary and was flying around. Just an all-around fun prospect to watch throughout the week. And then number five, Edge, Deshaun Warner. He's heading to Kansas, one of the most dynamic pass rushers out in San Antonio. Quick off the ball, had great moves, picked up two sacks in the game, a stock-up type performance from him, already ranked in the top 200, so we'll see if he can move up. At number six, you got safety Aaron Flowers heading to Oregon. Seven, Zay Mincy, who committed to Alabama. Edge, Marquise Lightfoot, looked excellent. He's heading out to Miami. Cornerback Zabian Brown, Alabama in Kingston. Viliamu Asa, linebacker, headed to Notre Dame. That rounds out the top 10. Now, comment section below. Who do you think? Who was the best of the best out in San Antonio? Who was your top performer? Let me know. Comment section below. All right. After the game ended. It cleared the way for what everybody's been waiting for. It wasn't at the game, like I said, but it was in Belleville, Michigan at Bryce Underwood School. I'm sure everybody by now has seen it. Underwood committed to LSU. We'll have Shay Dixon from the Bengal Tiger on the show to talk more about it. But man, LSU off to a blazing hot start in 2025. Wide receiver DeCorian Moore, the number one wide receiver in America in the 25 class, he committed to LSU about two months ago. Then last week, it was Harlem Berry committing to LSU, the number one running back in America, and that just paved the way for Saturday. The number one quarterback in America, Bryce Underwood, commits to LSU over Colorado, Michigan, Alabama. There was others, but this one, this one was LSU's to lose down the stretch, and they are now currently sitting at number one overall in the on three 2025 industry rankings. So 
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that content, be sure to subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We have a new page dedicated only to recruiting. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now.